It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chi-Sing secretary clearly isn't an ordinary person. It's so frustrating. Huh? You're... Aren't you Ningguang's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen Miss Ganyu, Traveler? It has been several days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. She's the general secretary of the Liyue Qixing. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Ah, even though the Qixing have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibilities by now, but she's disappeared without a trace. Is that so? Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. Who can blame her after working so hard? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person in all of Liyue. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty at Yuehai Pavilion saying, There is still so much to do. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack off. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? It's because of this absurd workload of hers. <sighs> when we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. We don't even know how long we've been working. We feel guilty for taking even a short breather like we are now. Looks like you got a serious emergency on your hands. Speaking of Julian Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course! We've been there lots of times. Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise... Oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Doesn't she live in Mel Outso? We should hurry up. Paimon hopes we can find her there. Huh? The person standing over there! That's Ganyu! We finally found her! Ganyu! Here you are! You too. I did not expect to meet you here. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Yuahai Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Huh? You don't want to be the Chi-Sing secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back! That's why you're here? You want me to come back? I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Liyue, I knew it was only a matter of time until I had to leave. My Adepti blood makes me unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. 
Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Uh, but... Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Cloud Retainer? We're terribly sorry, we just... <clears throat> One merely jests. One felt your presence the moment you set foot upon this land. Wow, you Adepti really are impressive! Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. <sighs> ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? Oh, Cloud Retainer. <sighs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most certain that your friends would like to hear of it. Oh, Paimon wants to hear it! Uh... <laughs> Little Ganyu loved when the horns on the top of her head were caressed. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. Wow! Plump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> the day Ganyu bumped into a pilgrim was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. <laughs> Cloud Retainer? Uh, forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. Ah, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. And you did the exact opposite. Impressive! Be that so? Huh. But returning to Ganyu, most gladdened one is of your arrival. One cannot help but feel that remaining in Dreyun Karst shall not be good for her. One will tell you more about her, if you should permit it. Most benevolent among all Adepti are the Chilin. They drink only spring water and eat only whole grain. But perhaps the mountainous dwellings of Adepti in Joyung Karst might be too lonely for her human side. Under moonlight did one see her last. She stood by the precipice's edge, and upon the mist-veiled mountains she gazed. Her thin figure was immersed in the vast sea of clouds. One noticed her loneliness, and sought to convince her to go back to the human world. But, just then, she said thus. Liyue Harbor feels even lonelier than Juyun Karst. When I look at the sea of clouds in Juyun Karst, I merely feel the loneliness of a solitary cloud gazer. When I step into the sea of people in Liyue, I feel the loneliness of an inhuman that doesn't belong in the human world. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong.
Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to Zhuoyun Karst. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. She should be in the southern part of Mount Outsong right now, preparing for the trial. Huh, is that so? Let's go take a look then! Why did you come here? Ah, I... Uh, humans should not remain in the realm of Adepti for too long. Hmm. Considering the kindness you have shown me, I can let you stay for the Adeptus training. Yay! This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. There's a lot of gliding around. It does feel like something Cloud Retainer would come up with. Wow! Ganya is a really awesome shooter! If you could see through the eyes of an Adeptus, you wouldn't be so surprised. We've completed the task. What do you think? I agree. You possess many qualities similar to those of Adepti, despite having none of their blood. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the first trial. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? No, the only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Huh, so it's Shell! That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? I found him unapproachable at first, too. But I believe that being able to face him is an important part of my homecoming. He's already waiting for me. Come along if you're interested. Of course we are! Let's go!
You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of humankind. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I... I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an Adeptus nor a human, always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind, your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. I'm ready. Trials begun! Paimon can feel it in the air. Even the weather's changed! The Palmer Guild needed watering. The transport coordinators will probably moan about the muddy mountain roads again, though. We're way behind schedule! For Rex Lapis! Over. Born of ice and frost. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Seeking other people's validation won't benefit your training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll progress faster that way. Um, understood. Xiao always has such strong opinions. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> I have to do what? <sighs> Another one of those pesky visitors. I'll leave him to you, Ganyu. It's also a part of your training. Pesky visitor? So even here there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Oh, oh heavens! Blessed be Rex Lapis! I've finally come upon the Adepti! Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Uh, great! My name's Sin Chung. I came to ask for your merciful blessings, O Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck, wealth, and a good career. Oh, so it's a pilgrim. Huh. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different story, huh? I am also one of the Adepti. You can say that I'm an Adeptus in training. Perfect. I didn't come in vain, then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted, it uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every Pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. What I'm trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything you wanted for no reason. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family, instead of chasing after fairy tales. Are you a real Adeptus? 
Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? You sure you're not one of those swindlers who poses an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Ah, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. <laughs> Nobody's stopping you. Uh... Kanyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said... He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... <sighs> but... I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. As an adeptus, I... True! Just believe us! Uh... Alright. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction! Let's go!